Well, greetings and welcome to In Service for His Majesty. The title for today's message is Empty the Trash. Let's pray. Father, we come to you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for your word that we're going to get into. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that you have sent to be our teacher and our guide. We trust him today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Empty the trash. You know, this message came to me when I was thinking one day of... um. Uh, my laptop or computer, every now and again, you know, you're moving files around and you're doing different things and, and stuff that you don't need, you put it into your trash. And But after a while, you need to empty that trash because it takes up a lot of the memory of your computer or, or laptop. And I thought about that in regards to us, you and I as believers, that we need to empty the trash. And, and that trash, not necessarily, I'm not talking about sin now, I'm talking about things that may, that we come to um, as, as we go through life. Because remember, there are th three things that we have to deal with. The devil, the world, and our flesh. And, and it's an ongoing thing. Thank God for the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank God for the Lord Jesus Christ that rules and reigns in our lives and gives us the power to be an overcomer. But we still have to deal with these things. Remember Paul uh, mentioned um, uh, about putting on the whole armor of God. Why? Because we're in a battle. But our battle is not with flesh and blood. It's against principalities. Um, spiritual wickedness, the scripture said, in high places. So we need to be prepared. Just like in a natural army, people, you're, uh, the soldier needs to be prepared, have his gun, his weapon ready, and his armor ready. We also, as believers, and we need to deal with errors in our life. It may be something as simple as um, some things that were said to you. When you were young growing up, that it's just there. Maybe some things that, um, that your parents said when you were a child that was negative. Or some, uh, somebody else could be at school. Some things that maybe they were calling you names, you know, for, for, for years. And just branded you with that name and it's in the trash. And now that you're a, a Christian, you're a believer, every now and again that thing still bothers you. It's, it, I use the analogy trash because you think of maybe food that you throw, you discard in the trash. Well, if you don't enter that trash, you leave that trash can for a couple weeks or so, it's going to smell. And if it's in the summertime, it's going to attract flies. And you know, flies um, is going to breed um, maggots, you know, and, and, and the potential of disease can come if you don't empty the trash. So you don't just, just throw something in the trash. The time comes, you have to throw the trash away. And that's what you and I need to do. Maybe something happened to you on your work, at your job. Maybe somebody lied on you. Somebody accused you of doing something that you didn't do and you haven't gotten over it. It's still in the trash. But what the Lord wants you to do is empty it. There's a scripture that I want us to go into. It's taken from uh, Philippians 4. Philippians 4 and just one verse, verse 8. And again, you can pause this video if you can and grab your Bible so that we can read to, um, together. It says, Finally, brethren, I'm reading from the King James and I'm going to read from the Amplified after. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are noble, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The Amplified says, finally, believers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable and worthy of respect, Whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, 
whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever is admirable and of good report, if there be any excellence, if there be anything worthy of praise, think continually, continually on these things. Center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. You see that? That's what the Lord wants us to do. And there's, there's just, it's, this is beautiful. I'm going to read it again. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true. That's the first thing. It's true. Whatever is honorable, worthy of respect, whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever is admirable and of good repute. If there is anything excellent, if there's anything worthy of praise, think continually on these things. Center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. That's the will of God for you and high. That's how we empty the trash. We throw it out. As I said before, if you don't, then that thing can fester. Somebody ever said something to you you didn't like and, and you didn't empty that trash? It, it, and a year later, it's still bothering you. You see, you have to, we have to deal with it. And the scripture is saying here, how? Think about these things. Think about whatever is true. And you know, the word of God is true. There is so much that we can think of. Remember, as I've said before, in previous um, broadcasts, you are what God said you are. It's not what your parents said you are. It's not what, what you think you are. It's what God said you are as a child of God. That's who you are. Remember, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature or a new creation. The old things are passed away. You, see, you are brand new. You're not refurbished. You are brand new. You see, see, God didn't take out old parts and put in new parts. No, you're brand new. As I said, you're not refurbished. You're not remanufactured. You're just brand new. That's why we, we, we call it the new birth. The Bible talks about the new birth. Or we say being born again. Remember Jesus said to Nicodemus who came to him by night. If you want to enter into the kingdom of God, you've got to be what? Born again. And that's the beauty of the new birth. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. You start fresh. You're not what was said to you 20 years ago. If you just started out in the Lord to, um, last week, no, all those things are gone. You are new in Christ Jesus. Empty the trash, the things that comes up in our life. Like I said, there's, we have to deal with the world, the flesh, and the devil. But thank God, thank God for the power of the Word of God. You know, the Scripture talks about renewing our mind through the Word. You see, that's why the enemy doesn't want us to read the, our Bibles. When you read your Bible, it's telling you who you are in Christ, especially the New Testament, because we're under a new covenant now. Uh, find out who you are in Christ by reading the Scriptures. Remember, there's another one. The Scripture talks about... Um, the our heart, God pouring out that love in our heart by the Holy Spirit. It's been uh, His love has been shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Spirit, so we can love the unlovable. We can love those who don't like us, who hate us, because we have a new heart. That love of God has been poured out on us. His love. And think of what His love did. Because remember the scripture said that while we were yet in sin, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Remember Jesus said to His disciples, Greater love hath no man than this, than a man laid down his life for his friends. And Jesus did it and even took it even further because we were enemies. We, we were enemies of the Lord. And when, when Christ died for us, and that love now is in us, what we need to do is walk in it. 
walk in it. Now, the devil's going to bring things in your mind. If somebody hurt you, did things, he's going to want you to go back into that trash can. But you said, no, you tell the devil, no, that trash can is empty. I've disposed of it. When the enemy brings those thoughts back, what that person said to you, you just rebuke him. He says, no, I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. I love that person. You see, that's what you do. That's how you deal with it. And just keep yourself Keep that mind clean, unspotted through the word of God. We're going to end by, I want to read that verse 8 again. It says, finally, believers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is respect, whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, whatever is pure, wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace. Oh, thank God for his peace. Whatever is admirable and good repute. If there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think continually. Notice it says continually, not once in a while. Continually think on these things. You will notice as you draw closer to the Lord, your mind will be more on the things of God. And I'm not saying necessarily that you're always thinking about heaven. I remember somebody said, a preacher said many years ago, <laughs> that we have to be so we have to be careful as Christians, lest we become so heavenly minded we are no earthly good. Remember, we got a job on the earth. Yes, thank God we're going to go to heaven one day. But we ha while we're here in this life, God has given us, you and I, a job to do this sin is this that don't know the Lord you know that he's put us here to preach the gospel you don't have to be a preacher to preach but just tell the good news could be to your neighbor or ask God Lord use me today when you wake up in the morning Lord use me today put somebody in my path today that I can talk to them about you that's something good to think about and don't don't let the enemy put those things, those hurt, keep bringing them back to you. Said, no, it's gone. I don't deal with that anymore. The other thing too, think of how many times when we didn't know the Lord, when we hurt God, when we were offending him, but he forgave us. You also forgive. Empty that trash. Empty it. Throw it away. Don't put it away in some corner, you know, it's because it's still going to smell. If you have a tr waste paper basket or trash can in your house, you don't take the uh, trash out that, the, the, the basket or, uh, of, or whatever you put that container in, the garbage container. You don't take that trash out and put it somewhere in your house. No, you throw it outside. You discard of it. You don't want it in your house. How much more you and I as human beings, as children of God, you don't want the junk, the waste that the enemy would throw at us. You don't want it in your life. Throw the empty the trash. Don't just throw it in the trash. Empty the trash. Away with it. Praise God. And you live from Philippians um, 4 verse 8. Uh, what, there's one more scripture. I forgot about this that I want to share and then we'll close. Second Corinthians 7 verse 1. It says... Therefore, since we have these great and wonderful promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, completing holiness, living a consecrated life, a life set apart for God's purpose in the fear of God. You see, you and I, as believers, as born-again Christians, we are called for, to serve for God's purpose, His purpose. Let us live like that each and every day. Wake up with the mindset, okay, Lord, here I am. What wilt thou have me to do? Have that mentality. In the name of Jesus, let's pray. Father, we come to you again. We thank you for your word. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your precious, holy, written word that we can rely on, we can rest in, because we know, Lord, your word is true. And you, you said to us today, you list, made a list of things of what you said, whatever things are 
true, finely bred, and whatever is true, whatever is honorable, worthy of respect, worthy of right, and confirmed by your word, and so on. You said there, Lord, if there be any virtue, any praise, think on these things. Help us there, Lord, to empty the trash, all the junk this enemy has put in our life, dear Lord, that's just been sitting there to empty it right now in the name of Jesus. And think on these good things. Think on your praise. Think on your love. Oh, Lord. Think of how when we didn't know you, Oh, Lord, uh, the, the lack of peace that we had in our life. But, but the peace that we have now, these are things that we can think of and think of how grateful we are to you. Those are the things that you want us to think of there, Lord. Help us to do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And remember, the Word of God says, as I end with this, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And as I always said, you and I are in service for his majesty. Let us serve him well. God bless you until next time.